In this video, we're going to show you how to replace your shift interlock latch located inside your shifter on the Chrysler 300. Now we're going to disconnect your battery. We're going to go ahead and open up the trunk lid. I'm going to go ahead and lift up the spare tire cover area here. And that's going to expose our battery on the passenger side rear of the vehicle. We're going to use our 10 millimeter wrench and we're going to loosen the nut on our ground terminal here. Once you have that loose, we're going to spin that and disconnect it. I'm going to come on over to the positive side. We're going to do the same here. I'm going to disconnect that, set that aside. Now on our center console over here, we're going to go ahead and use a small pocket screwdriver. We're just going to go beside the chrome trim here in our bezel and just go ahead and pop that up. Go ahead and set that aside. I'm going to pull out our little pocket right here. Just pull that up and set that aside. And on the front section here, I'm going to use our pocket screwdriver and pop this up as well. Once we have those three up, we're going to go ahead and remove these two Phillips head screws on the front side of the console area here. When you lift that up, you're going to be dislodging the clips, there's four little retaining tabs. Go ahead and set that aside. Now that we have our shifter exposed, there's two cables we need to disconnect. There's two on the front here. One goes to the left side of the shifter and the other one comes down to the right side of the shifter. This shifter cable on the right side has two points of contact. There's one right on the side here. The other one is right on the front side. So on the front side here, there is a little hole that actually, if you can put a pick in there, it actually pushes out on a tab on the other side. If you push in on that, it should allow you to pull up on this whole cable. So now that that is off there, I'm going to come on over to the side. Go ahead and put our pick back there. We should be able to pop that out. There we go. Just want to pop that off of that ball there. On the front cable here, there is a little lock tab right here. You basically want to Undo that, just basically unlocking it. We should be able to lift up on this. Now that's undone, we're going to reach down in the front side here and disconnect that cable. The best way for us to get access to this cable is we're going to unbolt the shifter first. We're going to lift this up and out of the way, and that'll give us immediate access to where that cable connects. Now let's go ahead and get to the two 10 millimeter nuts on the front side of the shifter. Once that's loose, I'm gonna drop a magnet down in there, grab that nut, and then we're gonna go to the one on the left front. Now 
we have two more on the rear side of it. Using your trim tool, just go on the back side of your seat heater and ashtray area here. Gently pop this out. Remove these two Phillips head screws on the front side of the console. You want to remove this component here go ahead to the back side of your seat heater switch there's a little tab on the bottom of that connector press it in and simply wiggle that connector off do the same for the other side as you pull this off there is the cigarette lighter component right here or your 12 volt And set that aside. Now we're going to open up our center console and inside there should be a little rubber package tray here or a tray. A component tray if you want to call it that. And inside you're going to find a series of eight millimeter screws. We're going to go ahead and remove these here. There's three of them here. And we can leave those in there because they're not going to go anywhere. At this point here, I want to go ahead and just lift up on our console. Our console is free. I want to go ahead and close the console lid now. and want to go ahead and remove the whole console from the center of the vehicle. With the console unbolted, we can go ahead and lift this up. Now we have access to our shifter here. This is gonna allow us to get to two connectors here. We now want to go ahead and disconnect. I'm gonna use my pick. Disconnect that. And then we have the one right here on the bottom. Disconnect that and remove the shifter from the vehicle. Now I wanna go ahead and access the shift interlock unit, which is this pink unit inside here. What you may see is right where the spring is attached right here, can normally break off. that will render your vehicle stuck in park, not being able to move it. You would press this button here to go ahead and bypass that unit. So, we wanna go ahead and replace this unit here. Next, grab that shifter handle. I'm gonna unthread this here. Once you have that shifter off, we're gonna go ahead and separate the base from the top half to access our interlock. 
Okay, using a flathead screwdriver on the back side here, there's gonna be a little tab. While we pry in here gently, we're gonna press down on here. It's gonna cause the bottom to pop out. There's also a little lock tab here as well on the other side. Good. Get our pick in there. Release that lock and we'll flip it over. And that side there is popping out already. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this connector right here. Pop that off. That should allow us to go ahead, separate the top from the bottom. And here is our unit we want to gain access to. Now you want to go ahead and pull this up and off of the pivot shaft here, but you can't do that because you can't move the rod. Take the green actuator unit here, you're gonna push this down. You can then pull this over that's gonna free this up, slide that up and off. Now installing your unit here, there is a process to it. You do have to make sure that, that drops down, fits inside, and you push it inward like so. Now when you bring this back here, this right here needs to be on this side of the shifter. If you bring it back, it naturally pushes in that position. So you need to be able to bring that lever over. You want to make sure that your green lever is in the down position. That'll allow you to bring your shifter over, bring it back, and release. Now you want to go ahead and install your spring. I'm going to hook that up there. You can use your needle nose pliers, stretch it over and hook it on the base spring right there. Now at this point here, we do have this tab on this side of the shifter. You can see that it is in its locked position. If you want to go ahead and push this down, this would allow us to go ahead and bring that back and pull the shifter back. Bring it forward. This detent will pop back up, locking that in position. Now when installing our component here, there's those two cables. The driver's side cable is gonna run through this notch right here, and it comes through, and the little barrel end of that cable is gonna come through this notch and pop on the back side. The other side is gonna come through this notch and pop onto the shaft here. Install the top half, sliding the shifter rod through the top selector, bring that on over. The other side here, we have this connector here, line that up, press it in here and feel it lock into place. Let's go ahead and install and snap on our bases here. We have both tabs locked in here and then on the back, check the seam all the way around. Ours is nice and tight. Grab your shifter or the handle and go ahead and thread that back on. Let's go ahead and put the barrel end of our cable inside the shifter. And then we go ahead and put our cable end lock on. Press that down. Go ahead and grab that harness right here. I want to line that back up. 
press that in, give it a little tug, make sure it's nice and tight. Let's go ahead and position our shifter down onto those studs. You want to make sure that none of the harnesses are catching underneath. Install the harness down below here. Snap that into place. Let's go ahead and install the four nuts onto the studs. Once all these are on, we're gonna go ahead and snug them down. Once those four nuts are in there nice and snug, just wiggle that, make sure everything is still pretty solid. We're good. Let's go ahead and install our cable end over here. We have that little shift ball right there. So I want to go ahead and line this up. Bring that cable back and we're going to press that on. Snap it into place. Now we'll go to the back side of the cable end here. I'm going to line this up. Press it down. You hear it snap into place. Both of our cables are installed and anchored. I want to go ahead and bring our console forward here. Install the two upper screws. Put these pieces here. Good, line that up. Snap it into place. Go ahead and put your console trim in. Snap that down. Install the two forward mounted anchoring screws for your trim. vehicle back and park, remove the key, we'll install in the trim bezel, you're going to have the two tabs and the third tab positioned on the left hand side, snap that down into place, drop that in, install the tray, now inside your console area, I want to go ahead and make sure that all three of these screws 
are started. I'll kind of get those in there by hand. And then we're going to come on in and snug those down. Once those are tight, you can drop in your tray. And you can close the console lid. Let's go ahead and reconnect our battery here. Install a positive terminal here. Let's go ahead and tighten that down. And once you have that good and tight, go ahead and install your ground terminal. We'll do the same for this. At that point there, we can go ahead and close down our cover here, and you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.